طيب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I hope everyone's doing good insha'Allah and we're staying healthy insha'Allah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and our families Brothers and sisters, I would just like to uh, shed some light on the event that happened in France and although we did cover it in the khutbah I'm aware that many people you know because out of the fear of the virus they're not praying with us which is okay inshallah um, uh, so inshallah I'll just speak briefly about what's happening in France so as you are aware and I am aware um, there was a professor in an institute and he was um, Insulting our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and um, after hearing this, uh, a young uh, Muslim boy ended up, Subhanallah, uh, killing this person. And you know, it's Subhanallah. It's a situation where uh, the Muslims they uh, unfortunately uh, we've been in this situation multiple, numerous amounts of times, where the whole religion it's kind of uh, put. In this uh, shady area, um, and here we are. We have to like, here we are as Muslim Muslims defending our religion. When every single person knows that in 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 the haqiqa, in the truth, the Islam nor any religion, it's it's uh, instructing its people, its followers, to kill innocent people. You know, the religion Subhanallah is telling you to water the plant. If you have a plant. So make sure you give the plant its right by watering it and giving it sunlight. So how can this religion instruct its followers to kill someone? So, of course, his actions do not represent Islam. But there is a big double standard uh, in the society we live in. And inshallah, I will explain it with a few examples. So, we know the, uh, the horrific uh, tragedy that the Muslim Ummah faced a few years ago with the shooting in New Zealand. In the Churchill Masjid, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all of those people, accept them as shuhada and, and give their families beautiful patience. I mean. So subhanAllah, this terrorist, this animal, slaughtered our Muslim brothers and sisters. Okay? Uh, never did society look at the residents and the citizens of New Zealand as terrorists. As... Uh, uh, murderers, you know, as violent people. Never did society look at Europeans, at Europeans as terrorists or as murderers, or as white people as murderers. SubhanAllah, something even worse. In 2013, when the, uh, the, the young white male, he went to Sandy Hook Elementary School and he killed all of those beautiful, innocent babies who are, inshallah, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his jannah. Insha'Allah. Never did America or the society or the people look at Christians because he was, uh, from my, from my uh, knowledge, he, was, he, his, his, he came from a Christian family. Never did society uh, blame Christianity uh, to be a violent religion. T to somehow think Christianity, it's, it's ordering its followers to kill babies. Um, the Columbine massacre, uh, the one of the the worst uh, mass uh, school shootings, the Columbine uh, high school shooting, which took a place in the '90s or the early 2000s, uh, a, a young white male, Caucasian. We don't look as Caucasian. We don't look at Caucasian people and judge them to be violent people, violent terrorists. Um, in 1955, uh, a young African American boy. 14 years old, Emmett Till, he went to Mississippi to, uh, to visit his family. And he was accused, sorry, he was accused of harassing a girl, a, a, a white woman in her 20s, I believe, in a grocery store, okay? Um, 
So he was, the reason why I said he was accused is because majority of the historians that, that specialize in uh, African American history say that the media, this was fake news that the media, that the, this was fake news that the media uh, put out. He never really uh, actually harassed her. Harassed meaning he was whistling at her and, 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 and things of this nature. But anyways, he was accused of, of offending this white woman in a store, in a grocery store. Later that evening, that's, that, that woman's family had kidnapped this 14-year-old boy, this 14-year-old African-American boy, and beat him. They beat him to death, shot him in his head, and they threw his body in a river. And then his mother insisted on having an open casket so that the people, that the world can see uh, the gruesome act that these murderers committed. And what happened at the end? SubhanAllah. Forget about, you know, like owning up to your actions. The law deemed these murderers, these terrorists that, that took away this innocent boy's life. They deemed, the law deemed these murderers to be innocent. And they walked away freely. Never does society look at, 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 at white people, as Caucasian, as people of white descent, as, 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 as murderers, as uh, terrorists. Even though in history you find, it, in, every, in every group, every section, we find violent people. We find people that hold bigotry and hatred in their heart. So, subhanAllah, does this mean that SubhanAllah, how do you ignore one, one billion Muslims, law-abiding, peaceful Muslims, right? And then you look towards that one defect, and then you subjugate the entire religion based on that one defect. So why is it happening to us? Why not, why not uh, what I just mentioned now? Uh, these, these, all of them are, these are all white people. Why, why, why doesn't that standard apply to them? Because it's a double standard and it's, it's, it's hypocrisy. And this, this, unfortunately, this hatred and this judge, this, uh, this, uh, unwrongful judgment, it only happens to minorities. So Muslims, African Americans, Mexicans, immigrants. So, uh, unfortunately, this is the, this is the world and this is the society we live in now. The mockery of a, of, of a prophet. It's not, I'm not just talking about Rasulullah. I'm talking about any prophet or any, or any religion. Okay? Whether it be someone who's worshipping a cow. You know, it's not allowed for us, for you, to mock the one who's uh, worshipping cow or fire. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Don't mock the people who are calling, who are invoking other than Allah. We don't agree with the person who's worshipping a, a fire or, or a statue, but we cannot mock him. Because this is his belief. What can we do? We can make dua to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide this person to the truth. But don't mock. The Islam never gave us the, the uh, right to mock other people. So when, when people mock prophets or, uh, or specific religions or even someone, someone subhanAllah saying the N-word and then claiming that this is freedom of speech, wallahi al-azim, this is 100% garbage. This is 100% garbage. You cannot insult uh, our Prophet, you cannot insult Christianity, Judaism, uh, Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, make drawings of him. You can't go out and start saying, uh, call, calling black people the N-word, you know, and then and then take a step back and be like, oh no, this is my speed of freedom of speech. Yeah, Ikhwan, this is hatred and this is bigotry. That's it. And this is not allowed in our religion. Haram. The Islam, our religion, is teaching us to protect the people around us with our hands and with our tongues. Okay? And we do not hold the right. I want to I wanna make, solidify this point. We cannot mock those who call other to Allah. This is from the, from the Quran. وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ We think because we're on the haqq. And other people might be in uh, worshiping, you know, a chair or something. Uh, again, we don't agree with, with with their beliefs, but we do not have the right. We do not possess the right to uh, mock these people and and ridicule them, because 
uh, even if Allah, even if this was something allowed, which it's not, but let's say if it was allowed, what is making fun of someone else's faith going to, what benefit is it going to bring? Do you think they'll accept Allah after that? It'll do two things, two things. First, the first thing it'll do when you make fun of someone's religion, it will have a bad impression on your religion. Say a Muslim, he's mocking someone else's religion. It makes Islam look bad because then he'll, the person will ask, so this is what your religion teaches you? To mock other religions? This is number one. And number two, do you really think, do we really think that we can mock somebody, make fun of them, ridicule them, be aggressive with them, uh, use hateful speech uh, with them, and they'll accept the message we are trying to get across to them? SubhanAllah. If I'm yelling at you, and, 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 and subhanAllah, accusing you of all these things, do you really think you'll listen to me? Any, any logical person with the, with the brain and with the heart, he's not going to listen. Because the, the da'wah, it's with, with love and with softness, and most importantly, with our actions. And coming back to what we were originally talking about, so subhanAllah, how do we, how, how, can, how can society ignore the one billion Muslims, law-abiding, peaceful citizens, uh, that are respecting the laws in their respective countries, and then they look to that one uh, defect, okay, the one defect, and then they subjugate and judge the entire religion off that one defect. If 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 society wants to play this game, then that means all Christians are violent. That means all Jewish people are violent. That means every single group, every single religion, every single race on the face of this earth is violent. Because there is violence in every single group. No group, no religion, no no sector is free from from no they're not perfect. There's no there's there's mistakes and racism and violence in every single uh, uh group, whether it be of a religious group or whether it be a racial group. Evil exists everywhere, but you look to the majority, not to the minority. Uh, so this is a, you know, subhanAllah, and this is something we, we see a lot, subhanAllah, when you see someone of African American descent, you know, commit a crime, you know, do we have, uh, do we judge inside our heads? You know, you, we hear on the news that maybe someone it was, uh, uh, Maybe an African American or 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 a Mexican or uh, a minority in the country, uh, or Muslim with a shooting, uh, has done a crime. So now we think all Af all, all all black people, all Mexican people, all all Muslims are are like uh, violent people. They're involved in gangs. Subhanallah. The Islam our Islam is not teaching us this, and I hope we. We're not judging people like this. We have to judge each and every single person according to his or her actions. The way he or she carries himself. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the Muslim ummah at a time where we need protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to uh, protect our families. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the best in this dunya and the hereafter. Allahumma atina fi dunya. اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة الفردوس ونعوذ بك من النار وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe and accept from us بارك الله فيك حياكم الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته